Welcome, this is for IM2. This is a video lecturing covering Delta Math. Here I'm going over a solution for Delta Math on finding the maximum or minimum values with technology. It says, find the value of this function, f of x equals to x squared plus 6x plus 13 to the nearest hundreds. And to do technology, you have to make sure you pull up Desmos, go to graphing calculator. It should look something like this. So what we're gonna type in is that function. So make sure you're copying down that function. I'm running it on my piece of paper right now so I know what to type in. I go to Desmos, I type in exactly what I see. f of x equals x, and if you want the square, you can hit the calculator and hit that square button there, plus 6x plus 13, right? And I saw, if I zoom in out, I saw that this is a minimum, right? Zoom it back in, right? Because it's the smallest value. And that is at the value of negative 3, comma 4. So I go here and I type in negative 3, comma 4. And I hit submit. Oh, that's the wrong answer. Oh, <laughs> so apparently... They don't want the point. They want just the domain. S sorry, they just want the range. So they just want the range. What they're looking for is just the y value of 4. So the smallest value here is um, you can say that when x is negative 3, y equals to 4. So the minimum value here is 4. All right. So let's do that again. All right. This is how we learn. So let's enter this into the calculator. f of x is equal to negative 0.9x squared minus 12.4x minus 36.9. All right, let's make sure we enter that in correctly. So negative 0.9x squared minus 12.4x minus 36.9. 36 All right, yep. We hit this value and it is five um, and again when we are looking for the minimum or maximum here they just want the y value so 5.811 so we can round it to the nearest hundreds so it would be 5.81 so yeah 5.81 so 5.81 8 is the tenth spot this is the hundredth spot so submit let's see if we get the right answer yep that's correct so the point here was negative 6.89, but the maximum is 5.81. All right, that's what they mean, 5.81. Good. Let's do that again. Now we enter this neat, pretty function in our calculator. x squared plus 12x plus 30.2. Okay, let's go here. Let's type that in. x squared plus 12x plus 30.2. All right, let's zoom out to see it. Ooh, that's pretty ugly. Oh, no, it's not. So the point is at negative six comma negative 5.8. So the minimum, it's just the y value. So it's negative 5.8. So here we can just write negative 5.8 and hit submit. That is its minimum. And we did it correctly. That's the point. The value is negative 5.8 because we're only looking for the y value. Let's do one more. All right, this is find the minimum. Let's find maximum. Minimum, maximum, All right? Let's enter this into our calculator. f of x is equal to negative 1.4x squared minus 22.4x minus 95. Let's type that in here. Negative 1.4x squared minus 22.4x minus 95. I just want to make sure I enter that incorrectly. Yes. All right. Ooh, that's fairly big. So let's zoom out. Zoom back in so we can see it. Zoom back in so we can get the number really good. All right. Seems like, oh, that's very neat. So the point here is negative 8 comma negative 5.4 so the maximum here is just negative 5.4 so here it just be negative 5.4 hit submit 
that is our answer good job all right so that's all you need to know how how to do to find the maximum and minimum with technology